All right, guys, today we are going to get into the last sample of SNWS that I have. This is uh, 9542, cooking in a hot house. Let's get into it. All right, as you guys well know, as you well know, I love scotch, right? I love all things scotch. So I subscribed a while back. I subscribed to uh, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society's uh, membership, and I've bought multiple bottles from there because it's just so good. So what they are is an independent bottler, right? They buy barrels and bottle them specifically for that. So this one is 9542, which will be, okay, I did no research on this, okay? I'm going into this blind. This is a blind sample. I don't know what this is. Obviously, it's scotch. I think it's peated. I'm not certain. Let's crack it open. If it is not peated, if it is not peated, then I will be pouring whatever is left in here into the old infinity bottle. Barrel, not bottle. I don't have bottles. I have barrels. Okay, so this is a nine-year-old scotch. 652 percent alcohol 65.2 is a hot mama so we're gonna add a little water to this one for sure okay that's buttery oh my god that is butter butter and sharp it's like hot it's hot house well it did say hot house right but it's so like creamy and buttery i don't know what wow that is cream like melted butter like i know don't but let's get in on the taste this is the you know oh it's not peated okay wow okay that's deep rich and for the color look at that color there's you know it's it's straw maybe it's maybe straw hmm Okay, we're gonna let that sit. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna nose it again. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. Wow. It's so buttery and like vanilla shortcake. There was something else I was get oh, stroop waffle. You ever okay, you, you guys ever fly, right? You go on an airplane. Uh you get the stroop waffle. Yeah, if you fly American, I think, or uh uh not United, American. Yeah, that's, uh, no, what's the other one? Yeah, United, United, I think. One of those two. Anyway, you get the Stroop Waffle. And it's like a, a waffle cone with caramel in the middle. That smells pretty good. All right, I'm going in for my second. Then we're going to add water. I'm trying to knock these out, okay? That is so nice. That is so nice. So I have my pipette and I'm pulling directly out of my water jug because it's clean water. Actually, this is filtered water. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. Olga. Olga. Put my lid back on. See my little sticker. Yep. And then we're going to let that sit. And I'm going to take a drink of the water because why not? You need to hydrate, right? It's hot out there. In the shed, it's hot. It's hot, bro. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this in the shed. It's pretty hot. Okay, let's get into it. Now, it might have broken up the ethanol a little bit. So now it's, it was at 65, so it probably dropped it down to 50, maybe 50% 50 alcohol. Yeah, just those few drops can knock the knock the proof down quite a bit. Oh, it's still buttery, toasty. The ethanol is a little hotter. You got to get further away. Okay, let's go. Oh wow, it is a wow. I don't know how to explain that. I really don't. It's really nice. I don't think this is sherry finished. I don't. 
I'll tell you right here. I think it's just bourbon, bourbon barrel aged, which that's what scotch is, is bourbon. They get bourbon barrels and age their whiskey in it for nine years, right? That is really nice. There's not a whole lot of complexity. I will say that there's not a whole lot of complexity. You get the vanillins, the, the caramel, you get a lot of maltiness, but then there's that creamy, buttery part of it, like uh, buttered biscuits or something like that. Really nice. So all in all, 9542, uh, what is it called? Cooking in a hot house. I get it. I get it. All right, one more set. Okay. We're going to do it live, live action. This isn't peated, so you don't have to worry about it. But this is uh, 100 mils, and I probably took 10 mils off. So 90 mils. Look at that. That's fun, huh? This infinity barrel is the coolest idea Badmo has made. And uh, please go follow them. Badmo, C. Smith Whiskey and Mixology, all those guys. You know, all my sponsors, I thank them so much. They uh, they keep this channel rolling. And also my Patreon, patreon.com slash the whiskey shaman. They're the ones that keep the lights on. Well, not really keep the lights on, but they helped me uh, purchase a bottle recently. Yeah, you... You, uh, it's this one right here, the King's Code, right? They uh, helped me purchase this one. So thanks to them. And if you are like this type of content, please follow, like, subscribe, do all the things, right? Do all the algorithm -y things that YouTube loves, please. And uh, until next time, you know what to do. Keep your spirits up.